What's up, everybody? This is Garrett with The Cage, and we're back in Seven Days to Die. Now, I have learned quite a bit over my time period of playing this. And as if you notice, we're on day nine. I haven't died once. I'm pretty damn proud of myself here. Um, I'm doing a pretty good job living. Definitely is still a, a, a very difficult game to play. Um... Still learning things as I go, and finding food can be quite hard if you're not not constantly looking for it kind of thing. Oh, got him. Okay. So, uh, also I found out by hitting them with the arrow, the reason he keeps jumping around and bouncing is because he's actually bleeding, and he'll eventually die. Um, so we just have to follow it. And not... Lose it like I... Oh, there it goes up the side of a mountain. Uh, we still got the little base going on back at the house. Uh, from the last video. And things have been going well. And this is as of their most recent patch update. I think it's 1. Uh, like 1.02. Oh, see? Ta-da! And actually, they've... It, it really helped out the frame rate dropping issue and a lot of the issues that I had in the previous episodes. Can I not? I, I got too much shit on me, I think. Shit, I do. Uh, we don't need the rotting flesh. Drop that. And drop. Um. Worn boots. I don't need those either. I'd rather these things. Is that all? Huh. <laughs> Raw meat. Oh, do I not, not have space for raw meat either? Jeez. I got seven animal hides now from that. I was reading that the shiv actually does better with... I need the lead right now. Does better with... Um, doing actual... Um, getting food from animals and stuff. That's what it told me, at least. I don't know the truth behind it. I don't know. Oh! Shit! Oh, wow, an airdrop! Right here! Hell yeah! Problem is, I don't have enough storage on me. Shit! Where's it at? Um, but no, so far it's been a really fun game, and the learning part is definitely hard. This is... Definitely been something I've had to 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 work through. Uh, when it comes to the actual like mechanics of the game, it's it's a bit of a learning curve. Not gonna lie here. Our actual house is way over there. Oh my god, that thing's forever away. There's no way. Um, I'm trying to think of some other things to talk about. Now, since the update, the the things I had problems with on the last game was it was jittery. Like, the frame rate dropping and the issues with... Ooh. What was the... Uh, where was he? That must be the supplies dropping, I hope. I don't think I can hit that chicken. There's no way it's... No, I didn't think so. I'm not even, not even gonna worry about it. Uh, like it would jitter when it would save and things, and that just was horrible. It, it made it almost un unbearable to play because it would just freeze on you. Oh shit! Oh boy. Man. 
This guy is strong as dicks. Oh my gosh. Is he dead yet? He's dead now. Yeah, give me that shit. Um, yeah, like, it would save, and the whole game would just lock up on you, and it, it made it very hard to play. And it sucked. I, I dislike that. But they've worked that out. It doesn't, A, it doesn't seem to freeze as long when it does. It's like a split second kind of thing. And it doesn't seem to be all the time. Like, right there, it just saved. But it didn't freeze. Um, I've lasted a few zombie attacks. I've done fairly well, I feel like. Oh, come on. I've definitely gotten better with my bow. Uh, you have to get good with this bow. Like, you just really do. Trust me. Use the bow. Make arrows. Anytime you have free time, make arrows. Because you will thank me later. That was a destroy body. <laughs> um, I'll show you the house when we get back there and show you all the things I've done uh, to help protect myself and uh, it's definitely helped out quite a bit when it comes to the nights where you just get a horde show up. I've had maybe a good 10 zombies show up at one time and I've survived. It wasn't the easiest thing. It did scare me quite a bit because I was expecting me to die any moment. Leave that stuff there. Uh, my stamina has jumped up quite a bit. Same thing with my health as you see down, down in the corner. There is a learning curve to this. Um, just on the amount of stuff you can do. And definitely food is a priority in this game. Food and water. And I'll show you the great thing. I didn't realize this. Um, in one of my episodes, I actually broke my ankles, or twisted my ankles, whatever they want to call it, because I fell from the water tower. Because I had in my head, I have to get inside the water tower to get water. It only made sense to me at the time. And I was like, well, I'll, I'll go up to the top, I'll break open the top, and I'll scoop out water. Well, the thing of it is, you don't even have to do that. They, I thought, overthought this by a long shot. And because... See that little spigot nozzle thing hanging out the side here? Look at Murky water. Uh, we can actually... Is that bottled water? Okay. We can actually just do this. Let's see, right there, it did freeze just a hair. And, ta-da! Scooped up water. And here's my little shanty house. Now, it doesn't look like much, and I have a broken out window. But, I made this little pathway right here in the middle for myself to fit through. And they're too dumb to fit through. And they just keep running into my spikes, killing themselves. I got some barbed wire out front. Um, barbed wire right there as well. Looks like I should probably barricade that a little bit more. And inside here is a furnace. We I built a forge, actually. And this comes in <laughs> so, so nice. Because um, we just put the things inside here and it does its work for us. So I'll turn it on here. I'll put my wood in there too, because I don't have anything else to do with wood right now. Ta-da! So that's going to do its thing. And I can't remember in the last episode or not if I had this. I No, I don't think so, because I had to have the forge. Um, I picked up a cooking grill. I built one. So now we can actually grill our meat. Now, I was very confused on what the difference between charred meat and grilled meat was. Uh, the char meat will actually, um, it still is better than our, uh, just anything else. This will, it will dehydrate you, so it's charred, so it's basically you just took it and you stuck it in the fire, and you go, yeah, that looks done, you ate it, and it made you kind of dry mouth. Where the grilled meat is better for you, a little more filling and things. I'm gonna cook those up. 
I'm going to take our murky water as well and get that going. Ooh, tallow. I can build that now. Oh, that takes animal fat. Candles, torches, and flaming arrows. Gotcha. Um, inside, I really haven't done much. I saw my box for storage. But I also built this little chest here. for It's a locked chest, actually. And, again, this kind of helps out in, like, online multiplayers and things like that. You lock it to yourself so you don't have to worry about somebody else coming in here to take your crap. I got a shit ton of coal. Look at all this coal. Got fuel. Animal fat. We got stones. Painkillers. I've mean, got it all. Potato seeds. No, but so far so good. I, I I'm enjoying the game. It they they really did a good job on this. I keep saying that I know, but I, I want to give credit to this team for being what it is. It's pretty good. Um, so far definitely I feel like I'm getting my thirty dollars worth out of it. Built some more arrows while we're talking here, real quick. Uh, where'd I put them? Camos. There we go. Oh, I need to get some wood out of the. <laughs> we'll take our meat, bottled water. Uh, take half. There we go. And the good thing is you can turn off the fire. I like that you can actually turn that off and not have to worry about it. Keep using up all, all your wood. Add that to our meat stash. Our animal fat's gotten quite a quite a good amount there. Um, I also ooh, got some more bottled water. Forgot about that. Got a nice little storage going on here. We're up to quite a bit, but I'll show you what armor I made. Um, some cloth armor, and this is for you use the animal skins, and it goes over the top of your your existing armor, so that what do you call it armor that. Uh, b -b -b plant armor, the plant fiber. It goes over the top of that. Actually, it looks like I need a new a chest plate. Still, do I have enough? I don't think I had enough to build the chest plate yet. So let's build that real quick. Um, animal hide chest armor. There it is. Craft. Now the forge does take a bit longer to melt down or add your stuff from here because you actually—it took me a minute to figure this out. What you actually do is you pick pick up the pieces of stuff here and drop them into the smelting, and then it has to actually break it down to put it over here before you can actually use it. Oh, yeah, there's our chest piece. Good texture there. Oof. No, overall, so far so good. I mean, I've lived, haven't died yet. I'm I'm happy about the hat, definitely. Oh, we gotta make some arrows. I built two kinds of arrows. I actually have the iron arrows now, and the wood arrows. So just your standard arrow, and then your upgrade of the standard arrow. Uh, standard ones are good for hunting, just because they're cheap and I miss a lot. The iron arrowheads are great for our attacking, so I keep both on hand just in case. I wish the, the your Q was a little bit uh, larger, or you could upgrade that, maybe? I don't know, I haven't got that part out figured out. Uh, when it comes to upgrading, I did find out underneath the skills here. After you, I have five points available right now, it tells me. So, running uses 10 percent less stamina per rank. That takes 10 points to get, but that'd be a pretty good one. Armor smithing, archery. I've been putting a lot into archery. What? He had the stamina regen. Ooh, regen stamina faster. That's nice. And then they also break it down up at the top here, so we can actually even put points into scavenging. Uh, this was an, an earlier episode. Again, I, I did one of those don't don't look at cars because that'll I I couldn't I couldn't really find anything good in cars and the truth of the matter is it's because my my scavenging level was low so as you progress you find more stuff and better stuff do 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 okay I think we're good 
I'm looking good. I wish I could keep like like hot bar this so I can just keep making them. Cause they come in handy. Definitely invest in a bow. Oh, here's the bone shiv. Um, also used for for gutting animals. So I took a risk on it and just thought, well, maybe that helps out with getting stuff from animals better. I don't know. Looks like it's getting ready to be night time. We'll make it. We'll we'll make this video until night time at least, so you guys can see it again. Might make some more traps while I'm not here, kind of doing nothing. Oh, weapon smithing went up. Nice. And a lot of these things require other things, so it's like, oh, you want to make the furnace? Well, you have to make this, this, and this before you can make the furnace. So you do have to learn necessaries like that, which is fine. Yeah, we're starting to get dark out. Yeah, because if you're not careful, you'll run into these and make yourself bleed, and then you have to bandage yourself up, and it's just not pretty. There we go. It's kind of reinforcing some of these spots a little bit better. So after being attacked a couple times, I, I've learned that investing in, in cheap things like this is nice. I'm sure later on it probably will take a lot more to keep me protected. However, for now, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take any kind of protection. So I've been adding a second layer kind of thing. And it's been doing well. Uh, I started trying to make the barbed wire. The barbed wire tends to be a little expensive, um, especially at an early time because it actually takes forged iron, which takes up wood to, to forge it, plus the iron itself. And so I was like, oh, I'm just going to stick with wood spikes. They get the job done. I'm sure I'll regret that one day and everybody can come back here and go, ha ha ha, poor Garrett. He's such an idiot. But for the most part, no, there's really not been a lot around me. Ooh, what was that? Is that somebody out there? No, this is a... <laughs> As I say that. No, I'm glad. I mean, it was not even a, a week after launch that they released the update for the uh, the frame rate dropping and just overall just a nicer, smoother experience. Definitely better than what it was. Ooh, shit. I am out of wood. Go cut down a tree real quick. Doot, doot, do. I built this fire axe with some forged iron, and man, this thing is lovely. Uh, great for killing zombies and, of course, cutting down trees a lot faster than the club. I like how, one other thing I like about this game is that the actual item, though it degrades as we're hitting it, we get so much per degrade. Uh, so it helps you out because you can go, okay, I only need this much wood, I can leave the rest of this tree here kind of situation. And I like that. It makes it really nice. It's not like one tree equals one, one item, or one tree equals one piece of wood, or one stack of wood, or whatever. I'm also very thankful that this water tower has been right here because um, when it's come to water, my next closest water for things is way over here. And in my earlier episodes, I was like, shit, I got to run all the way back there, then all the way back. And there goes my most of my day. <laughs> so uh, I'm glad I stumbled upon that little little puddle out in front of it. I don't know if water degrades after so many, like, each 
each brick of water or whatever you want to call it has so much usage. I don't know that part yet. I haven't ran into it. I hope I don't. What is here? Oh shit, I hear something. Oh fuck, there's a nurse. I better hurry. One, two. Got one left to put down. Okay, good enough. I'm going back inside. I don't like being out here. Yep, she sees me. Upgrading your archery has came in very handy as well. A killer killer? Yep. What is that? Vitamins. Oh, and a splint. Well, thank you, nurse. I have. I was ready to say that earlier I found, like, med kits and that kind of stuff on nurses, too. So, quite possible. We've almost got... Let's go ahead and finish this up here. We're pretty close. There we go. Good enough. For now, at least. Ugh. I should fix that other side to put two rows of that in there. I don't like standing out here in the dark, though. Um, you can definitely tell this is a PC game that was kind of ported over. It's got very PC-esque menus and that kind of stuff, which is what it is. Oh, leveled up. And have five more skill points to spend. Nice. So I've been reading a little bit. Um, some people were saying that there's a Blood Moon Night kind of thing. That, like, shit just goes horrible. And there's tons of zombies. That kind of stuff. And I hope, I hope I've experienced it. I never looked at the moon's color, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing I haven't. Just because of my luck. I really haven't done much out in front of my house, and I probably should. I wish I could make things more. I want more. Not sure what turning them does. I mean, they're pointy all around, so... I put a few torches out and about as well because sometimes it's hard to see. And I want to make sure I can see everywhere. Let's go ahead and put this here. Here. Kind of just lining around my whole house here just for security purposes. Because uh, normally at night, where you'll find me, what the fuck? The music cues in this, I, I don't know. I don't know if that means that there's something coming or. What? Oh, Jesus, my trees have grown. I planted those trees uh, a couple of times ago, and they're huge now. Wow. Usually this is where you'll find me. It's sitting up on top here. Uh, I don't see the moon. I don't know where it's at. I got my lamp still. I got. That's what I love about this place. It's got one street light put in it. So it makes me laugh. Now, so far... um. Again, I don't know how many videos of this I'm going to be putting up. Some of it's going to keep up with it now and again. I think it's worth a shot. Um, if anything, go rent this game. Give it a give it a good run through for, for a couple nights. 
Uh, it's really kind of fun. Um, I really have no issues with it, and yeah, that's all I can say about it. So, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you can, give the video a like. Helps out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel. We've got tons of other videos going on over there. Until next time, you guys, stay frosty.